Guys, we are so excited to be with you again today and we have so much in store for you so stay tuned Aisha is going to pray for us so just sit like that close your eyes and let's get ready Heavenly Father we are back yes thank you for providing us even with the opportunity to even be here may this be a blessed service Father God may everybody that is at home be blessed May they take in what we are about to say, yes. Father God, and may they just have fun Amen. and accept your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. Guys, we are going over to praise and worship. So get up, get loose. Let's go boogie. Did you know what? that you can have a Bible without words? But that's easy. It's a Bible with pictures. Not with pictures, with colors. Colors? Colors. How? Let me show you how. Kids, so today I'm going to teach you about the Bible in color form. It is so amazing that we can have the Bible in different ways. Yes. We can have the Bible in word. We can have the Bible in pictures, yes. you know, for the little ones. And then we can have the Bible in color form without even words or pictures inside. Just by looking at the color, you will know exactly what it represents in the Bible. That's awesome. So Clarissa, yes. can you tell me mm -hmm. what you think this color represents? Black. Mm. I think it represents sin. You are 100% correct. Sin. Yes. The reason why it is black is because when you sin, it's like you add a form of a kind of darkness to, your, to yourself. Yeah. Because when you sin and you know it is wrong, you carry guilt with you. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. You carry guilt with you. And guilt can make you do even more sin. So, black in the Bible or any dark 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 color represents sin but I'm gonna tell you how you can get away from the sin and be blessed and purified and all of those things so black represents sin remember black is for sin black is for sin next color can you tell me what you think this color represents ooh, ooh. I know, guys, red represents blood. Yes, 100% blood. But which blood do you think it represents? Closer, can you tell me which blood do you think, or whose blood do you think it represents? Mm, there's only one, only one that 
died for us on the cross and that was Jesus Christ. Exactly. Yes. The red represents the blood of Jesus. And the reason why we say the blood of Jesus, because he is the one that shed his blood and died for us on the cross. For what? For our sin. Yes. For our sin. Our so sin. that he can purify us from our sin. Yes. And on the thought of purification. Yes. On that thought of purification. This color. What? Represents. Once you have been washed with Jesus' blood. Once you've accepted that he is our savior. And that he is the one that died for us for, for our sins. You are purified. But. Before you get purified, you have to repent. You have to pray. And that is why accepting Jesus as your Savior means part of accepting Him is repenting all your sins and repenting everything that you've done wrong. After that, you ask for forgiveness and then you are purified like snow. You are white. washed clean and white and you are forgiven for all of your sins. And you know what happens after you are forgiven? What? So cool. I'm planning it. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. After you have been forgiven for all of your sins, what do you think this represents? Well, green always makes me think of trees and plants that is green. So I think it might be something about growing. Exactly. Yes. You are so clever. <laughs> green means growth. Once you've realized your sins, you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior. Yes. You have, you've been purified of your sins. Yes. After accepting Him as your Savior, you have the task of actually living like a Christian. Okay. And following, reading your Bible. Remember, you cannot grow without reading the word that's true so one when you read the word and you start reading about what god says in the word you not only grow as a person you grow your soul grows your spirit grows and that is how we become closer and closer our relationship with god gets so much stronger yes. when you grow that that yes when you grow the more you grow, the closer you become to God. And the closer you get to God, what do you think this color represents? Wow, it's gold, you guys. I think gold represents heaven. Exactly, gold. The Bible says that the road of heaven, it's paved with gold. Sure. So, just, just think of this. How cool is this? When you go to heaven, you're going to be living in a place where you're walking on gold. Yes. Imagine. I cannot wait. Like, I cannot wait. You're walking on gold. Yes. So, the road to the paved gold road. Yes. It's easy yet difficult. Because difficult because you have to walk the journey. You have to grow in the word. You yes. have to actually do the work, accept God and do the work as a Christian. It's not going to be easy. There will be times when you will have difficulty coming your way. Yeah. But the important thing is keeping this in mind. Keeping in mind that you are working towards an everlasting life. An yes. eternal life. Yes. Where? In heaven. In heaven. Yes. So, the important thing about the colors that we've learned today yes. is that there's a journey. With each color, there's a journey and there is a task with each color. And once you've started your journey, you know you are on the way and on the right path to heaven. Yes. So, is that not just amazing that you can actually just look at a color and know what it means and represents in the Bible. Oh, that's so awesome. I think everybody can read the Bible now without even reading any words. Exactly. That's so exactly. cool. It's just so, so, so cool. I, I can't wait to get to heaven. 
I cannot wait either. So we should start our journey. Yes, we, we should, should start, start growing. <laughs> Kids, that's so amazing to know that we can read the Bible with color. Everywhere I'm going to look now, I'm going to look for color and see what it represents in the Word of God. Today's scripture, we are reading it in Romans 10 verse 17. So get up, get loose and do it with me. I want to learn this, this scripture with you. And it says Romans 10 verse 17. And it says that faith comes from hearing and hearing comes from the word of God. Let's do it all together again. It says Romans 10 verse 17. And it says faith comes from hearing and hearing comes from the word of God. Aisha, I am so excited. I'm going to make me a pocket Bible of colors. What do you think? I'm going to do the same. Ah, oh, keep it in your pocket. Go everywhere. When you take it out, you just see the colors and you know what it represents. Kids, we are ready to say goodbye. It was so much fun spending time with you. Just sit like that and then we pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for another glorious service, Father God. Thank you for having given us things as simple as color, Lord. Yes. That we can look at the color and know what it is that we need to do mm. and where we are where we stand with you father god mm. i pray that every time we see color specific colors that represents the certain things that we've learned today father god that we know who you are and that we know that you are close to us father god thank you in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen can i get an amen amen <laughs> who are we children of god and what are we Blessed. Yeah. Bye. Bye.